Hi and welcome or welcome back to this channel. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to chat about a book that I recently finished that made me think, what? And that I rated five stars. And the book is Bunny by Mona Awad. I'm just going to do a quick... We're gonna talk about it for a little bit, you know? This book was unlike anything I ever read and I loved it. This book is about a student that goes to university and she kind of is watching as an outsider this group of girls in her cohort and eventually she gets invited into this group and then they begin to do these monstrous activities and reality starts to blur and fade and you don't know what's real as the reader and she doesn't know what's real either. This book did a really great job critiquing dark academia and female friendships and did a lot of really great things well including references to other literature such as To Kill a Mockingbird, A Room of One's Own, The Woman in White, and honestly this was a masterpiece and I didn't know going in that this was satire and that was my own fault. I was about halfway through really not enjoying the book at all and then I looked up the genre and was like I get it. Okay, so know going in that this is satire. And then if you haven't read this, also know that this review will contain spoilers. So if you want to remain unspoiled, you shouldn't watch this. Without further ado, let's get into some theories. And I wanna let y'all know that I have not looked up online any explanation videos or posts about what happened. These are all theories from my brain and I wanted to talk about my theories before I looked it up because I feel like in a lot of reviews for this book people were like I was so wrong about what happened and I had no idea what like my interpretation was completely wrong so I'm fully prepared to be so wrong right now and so humbled so let's just chat about what I think could have happened because I have three possibilities okay so my first theory is that they are in a real cult Samantha and the bunnies and Samantha can see ghosts similar to Alex in Ninth House So the other girls are super cracked out. They're doing ecstasy and They're thinking that they're hallucinating, but Samantha is seeing real ghosts So everything is ten times scarier to Samantha and she is Going out of her mind and the other girls are kind of like going out of their minds But she's like doing drugs and seeing real ghosts. So she's like really going out of her mind that's theory number one. Theory number two is that this book is the book that Samantha was writing in her cohort. She was lying, which she admitted that she does, about having writer's block. And this was just her story. That theory came to me when I was thinking about how well this book kind of communicated with the reader on like how to read, which was one of my favorite things about this book. They said things like, you have to trust your intuition as a reader. And it was just like kind of in dialogue from one character to another that they would say things like that. But it was definitely like the author communicating with you how to read and interpret this book, which I thought was really cool. But that would kind of make sense if this is the book that she was writing. That would mean that this is like, None of these things are happening to her. She wrote this book about these girls that were in her program and none of it was really true. And she did, again, say that she lies for no reason. My third theory is that they killed Ava at the beginning of this book and not at the end. And there was a point in the beginning, let me try to find it. Okay, on page 62, when they killed a bunny at their cult meeting, I was like, okay, cool. She act, she took drugs. She thought that she killed a bunny, but she actually killed Ava. And I think that I partly thought this because on the back, it did kind of spoil that Ava was gonna die because it says that the bunnies and Ava and her friendships like had a deadly collision. So in my head, I was expecting Ava to die already. So that might be why I thought that, but for some reason, I really thought that the bunny that she killed at the, on page 62 was Ava and Ava kind of disappeared after that and then she got really weird after that. So I was like, maybe that's ghost Ava, Samantha seeing the ghost. Maybe those two theories kind of work together, but I really thought that Ava died way sooner and then when they killed her again, it kind of was confusing to me almost because I was like, I thought she died. Here's another great example of the author communicating with the readers on page 59 where Cupcake says, the first time I read it, 
I have to confess, I was quite put off. On the second read, I was sort of like, the angsty grittiness, the adolescent rawness, it's compelling. More vulnerable than I expected, almost desperate, sad, but in the best way. I mean, I think it could open itself up a bit more and could use more bounce. It felt like the author was talking about this book as much as she was talking about Samantha's story. And I just loved that aspect of it. I will say that I really hated the writing style for about the first half. And then it kind of went away and solved itself and I realized that that writing style that I hated was kind of making fun of the pretentious dark academia not like other girls vibe that sometimes happens and I was like I hate it she meant for me to hate it this author so I thought that I was going to rate this book very low but I really ended up like highly enjoying it. Let's talk about the ending of this book. Sometimes I love an ambiguous ending and sometimes I hate it. And I feel like there's an important distinction in what makes me love or hate it. And that's the purpose and the intention of the author and whether or not it fits in with the story. For Bunny, the ambiguous ending felt very purposeful and very aligned with the rest of the book. There are books that I've read that I've hated the ambiguous ending because it feels lazy. In this case, it didn't feel lazy. Really, really loved this book, would recommend it. It was a wild ride, it's weird. It's kind of like if Alice in Wonderland, American Psycho, and the book series that I was horrible but I loved in middle school called The Click all took ecstasy together. Do with that what you will. If that sounds horrible, definitely avoid this book. Let me get the cat because he's making noise. I wonder if my camera audio will pick up him purring. I was gonna talk about some more theories, but I do wanna keep this video relatively short. And so I'm just going to find some Reddit threads diving into this book and link them in my description so that you can go down a rabbit hole that I will most likely be going on in a little bit. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe or the cat will bite me. He told me he's gonna kill me in my sleep if I don't get like a thousand subscribers in the next few weeks. So please support me staying alive and thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all of the support i feel like i've gotten so much love and support lately on here just more than i ever thought would be possible starting this channel i didn't really know what to expect but i wasn't expecting everyone to be so nice you know what does that say about me how negative but anyways thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day rest of your week and let me know in the comments if you read Bunny, what you think happened. I would love to hear other people's opinions. Those are mine. Thank you for listening. Bye. Oh, look. Do you know how to read? Look, do you want to read? Look. <laughs> okay. Goodbye.